Okay, so welcome back in the last video. We used Onshape to assemble all of our components uh, and our sub-assemblies to create this torch. Uh, in this tutorial, we're going to be using Onshape to create our own engineering drawing, which is going to be to uh, a general standard, which we're commonly known as orthographic. So what we want to do is we're going to go to click little plus sign to, ins plus sign to insert a new element, and we're going to create a drawing now We've created part studios, we've created assemblies, but we're going to create a drawing. Uh, and it will bring up two templates here. Uh, mine will give us an A3 template, so I will bring up an A3 template. If yours only gives you the ANSI uh, millimeter template, it's absolutely fine. I'm going to click OK. Uh, and this is actually a really easy way of creating uh, a very technical looking drawing. Uh, and this drawing is going to communicate all the elements of your torch. So you imagine your handing it over to a third party uh, to manufacture and all that information will be on there. So uh, the first thing we need to do is insert our torch uh, and it's actually going to be not in the part studios but it's going to be in the assemblies and so click the assemblies and I want to insert the torch assembly uh, and I'm going to bring it in there. Now it's bringing it, it wants to bring it in as our front view. I'm going to change our view here to our right view and it's bringing it in as a scale of two to one. So for every you know one millimeter, it's scaling up, it's doubling up. So it's going to say it's two millimeters. So that looks a bit too big for me. So I'm going to just change our view scale down to one to one. It should be in here somewhere. Yeah, one to one. So bringing it in at full scale. Uh, this will be full size. So I'm going to select that as my view there. And it's going to place it in there. The next thing I want to do is project a view. I'm going to project a side view from it. It's automatically doing that. Uh, and that's going to be my side view there. So we've got our front view and our side view. What I could do is project a plan view from here as well. Uh, I, I don't... I, okay, I will put the plan view in there for argument's sake. But uh, as the plan view and the front view are exactly the same uh, for arguments of what we've drawn... Uh, it doesn't make much difference, but I'll keep it there to show that we've got a proper orthographic drawing. So we've got a front view, a side view, and a plan view. You notice your side view lines up with the front view, and the plan view lines up with the front view. Uh, I'm happy with that. What I want to do now is also insert another view, and I'm going to just insert a an isometric view of it, which is standard practice to put an isometric view in there just to show what it looks like three-dimensionally. So there we are. So we have our I'm going to just move these around a little bit. And you notice when I move the front view down, the side view move with it. If I now just move this across to give me a bit more space, you'll notice the plan view will move as well uh, so that they will stay in beautiful unison with each other. So there's that there. What I then want to do is, because this is a drawing that we want to present to someone to manufacture, I want to show hidden details. So I'm going to right-click on each view and I'm going to and I go to that show hidden lines, and that there show hidden lines, and show hidden lines on there. Now on the isometric view, this is purely pictorial. It's given the, whoever's manufacturing it an idea; they can see clearly what it looks like. So I'm just going to right click on that there, and I wonder if it just show me a shaded view there. And it's got a shaded view there. Uh, now, this is uh, really good. It's going well so far. What we then want to do is we want to put dimensions on it. Dimensions are sizes. They're showing you how big each part needs to be. So I'm going to do an overall dimension. If you just notice that, I've just clicked on that there. Just clicked normal dimension. And if I just select, let's reselect it. I just select an endpoint there. And if you notice, I select an endpoint there. It will let me drag a dimension away there, showing the overall length of the torch. I can do an overall one here showing the overall length of the tube, which is 100 millimetres. Uh, I'm going to do one here showing the width of it, which is coming out 26.4. Uh, the size of the end there. And I'm just putting in as many dimensions as I can get. that's the shows the torch head uh, so that if someone were to manufacture this 
they would then be able to make it from what we're showing them. Uh, let's go with internal dimension inside there, so on and so forth. And what you're going to get is a deliberately very technical looking drawing that someone should be able to follow uh, to manufacture the product, uh, like so. What we also need to do is, you'll notice, uh, it's already knows, because your username in on shape, that's my username there, let's put it in there. It's got today's date in there as well, the 23rd. Uh, we might want to put a drawing title in there, so. I'm just gonna double click on that center line there, put a drawing title in there, and I'll call this Torch Assembly. Okay, so we've uh, just put the drawing title in the drawing assembly. Uh, if you're using this professionally, you might want to put a drawing number in here, so you might put it 001. Uh, you might just put dash one, because it's the first one we've done. Uh, the scale's automatically come in at 1, 1 to 1, it's size A3. Uh, so if we zoom out, uh, we should end up with a fairly professional looking drawing there. We could put a radius dimension to the outside head of the torch if you want. Uh, And you will then have a very professional looking drawing. So, for example, when you're designing and making your own component parts, you can very easily and simply create your own uh, engineering drawing of your parts. Good luck.